Hi, I guess. Hi. Hello. <laughs> this Hi. is Vangelina Skull. Everybody knows her. Does um, everybody know me? Everybody, everywhere. I'm as famous as Britney Spears. I'm so famous. That's you. Yeah. Yeah. No. You're more famous than me. Mm, no. I think more people know you than who know me. Really? Yeah. I think so. Really? Yeah. What, like, people know of me, I guess, because of men. Yeah, basically. The because revelations. Of you. Because of me and all the exposed videos. I do. <laughs> so you're more famous, but you have made me more famous. Yes. Now you're you doubly as famous as Britney Spears. You're welcome. I should shave my head now. <laughs> you should. <laughs> See, circling back to the other conversation. Yeah, <laughs> I should have mentioned in my other. So we just did a video for my channel to mm -hmm. people who are go watching watch, you right watch. now. Yes, go but watch. I didn't say that in my video. So now I have to like go to the extra ten seconds of typing that into the video. <laughs> my life is so hard. Oh, yes. Life being a YouTuber. Yes. All right. What do you want to talk to me about? About my. Um, my hatred for you is that the topic of this video because in my video yeah. we talked about you hating me so yeah so you hate me yes despise you um all you've of done you, so many fact. you've done so many tea videos about me you've exposed all of my dirty secrets add yes. my dirty laundry yes it's everywhere it's all because of me and you know what i think you deserved it <laughs> <laughs> Because of the thing that you did that one time when you were 12. Oh no, I thought I would, I thought I would escape this fate. I've never lived it down. I still think it would be fun if I just expose all of my secrets for your channel. Because I'm not going to mm -hmm. do it for my channel. Because I can't do an exposed video on myself. Shall I just like ask you some crazy questions? Do it. Never have I ever questioned. Um, uh, the, the first question that just came to my head was when did you lose your virginity but that's like <laughs> you don't have to answer that at all but like that's, that's my brain for you <laughs> that answer's gonna get me in trouble <laughs> yeah you don't have to answer that on the end um, and then you'll know uh, I'm just turning my brightness up because my phone's dying um Let's go. Let's think of some crazy big questions. <laughs> Have you ever broken into a place? Broken into a place? Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, theft. Like, say you've broken into a park or a fairground when you are a kid. I th yeah, I think I did into, like, a playground. But, like, mm -hmm. does that we just climbed over the wall. Like, it wasn't, like, Mission Impossible or something. Because I... You know, technically breaking in you just want to go to the playground because obviously that's what teenagers do and like mm -hmm. we weren't even doing anything we shouldn't have been doing um but we just wanted to go on the swings and it was closed so it's broken i know i'm so badass i know <laughs> I my like brain is playing criminal by britney spears now haha <laughs> that would just be the backing track for this film yes copyright uh, for you Okay, speaking of, have you ever been arrested? No, surprisingly. People always think I have been. I don't know why I exude that energy, but um, <laughs> I'm really good at not getting caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that's, that's what I feel is like I probably would have because I've done illegal things, <laughs> but like I've never been caught doing them. That sounds like really bad. I've not been like perving on children or anything like Jesus. like my, my brain was like I've been doing illegal things and then someone in my head was just like you just you just <laughs> outed yourself as doing like illegal shit you need to clarify you're fine I don't think anybody well I was gonna say I don't think anybody thinks that that's what you were doing but with a lot of the revelations that have been coming out recently it's it's possible that people might think that so good thing you clarified I also have yeah. not done that so. I I I just, I just maybe have stolen a lollipop or something. I, I, I no, 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 really illegal shit. Yeah. Don't come after me, please. 
Mm. Have you ever cheated on anyone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I should even tell this. No, it's fine because, like, my family don't watch your channel, so we're good. So <laughs> there was one time I had this boyfriend and he, okay, he cheated on me first. So, yes, I know, scandalous. But he went off to the Gwail Tucked and, like, it's like a summer camp thing where you speak Irish or whatever, and you can't use your phone at the Gwaltuk, so I couldn't break up with him. And in my head, we were already broken up. Because he cheated on you. Well, he cheated on me before that, and then I hadn't gone around to breaking up with him yet because I was like, eh, give it a, give it a go. And then I went, ah, oh, no, actually, fuck you. So huh. once he didn't have his phone, I couldn't break up with him. I knew we were broken up. He just didn't know yet. So it's not really cheating. <laughs> not really sort of but I also have really so but we won't tell those stories because this one makes me look slightly better maybe no it doesn't make me look like an asshole <laughs> exposed yes. you asked to be exposed <laughs> I did I really did ask for that God damn. <laughs> I keep uh, making jokes that people should like I'm always like cancel me expose me and then eventually somebody's gonna do it and I'm gonna be like hmm. <laughs> yeah you got what you asked for Yes. I just come along and I'm like, hmm, what is the worst thing you've ever done? <laughs> oh, well, I, I murdered you. somebody once. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, only reasons. murder? Yeah, only murder. <laughs> Didn't even torture them first, just like straight yeah. stabbed in the neck. Let them bleed out. It's all good. Did I just get you demonetized? Possibly. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't care. I, I like the content more than the the monetization I'll, yeah. I'll go for the random <laughs> like I, I love this being able to just speak shit just talk shit I think if I had to like censor my channel like swear words mm -hmm. or like things like that I think I probably wouldn't be able to do it especially a lot of my alters would not be able to do that <laughs> yeah I mean I did start censoring myself recently just because like this is my job now so mm -hmm. and videos can get yeah. monetized for the most annoying reasons anyway so it's like at least i can stop it happening from like mm -hmm. my end or something yeah yeah and it makes sense with yours being like <laughs> censored because they're a lot more professional and stuff so like professional <laughs> compared to mine yeah <laughs> professional and then cue that video that i had like two weeks ago of me crying on camera because life is a little bit hard right now <laughs> so. i'm it is 2020. I mean, yes. I do have a theory about the whole 2020 thing, if you want to hear it. Uh, 100%. I don't think 2020 is the worst year by far. I think it is the first time that it's properly affected people in the West and white people and we're up our own asses and we go, oh, this is the worst year. So like the Syrian refugee crisis that was definitely worse, but it didn't affect us as much. So, mm -hmm. Like, didn't directly affect us. Yeah. So white yeah, privilege like is my theory. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense, though. To be honest, like, white people can't go to work and have their mimosas on Sundays, so people are upset. Yes. No, I get that. Brain like, we've been bombing Syria for years, and... A pandemic is the worst thing. Obviously. I have lots of very smart brain thoughts in my head. I know. I'm very wise. And I should get a Nobel. All of them. All of the Nobels. All, all Physics. Them. Chemistry. Music. <laughs> yes, all of them. Excuse all me. Them. My music could win a Nobel. <laughs> Just, oh, I, I love hearing your crazy theories, though. Like, your one about the fucking... A hollow moon we were stuck on that for days days and days me and my roommate and then when my partner came home I was like oh my god the moon is hollow by the way no but it is like I'm right I'm telling you did you watch some videos about it and stuff yeah yeah we watched like we watched a video about the sound playing and like like all the different things about it and we were like convinced now convinced yes, yes that's why we haven't hollow. been back and, like, it makes a lot of sense to me as well because um, technically the Earth is hollow, but the inside of our Earth is just moving. Mm. 
-hmm. you know it's just filled with like liquid and stuff so Mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense that a dead version of our planet would be hollow Mm -hmm. because there would be nothing moving inside living Mm and doing all the rock and although this is where i'll take the theory just a little bit further into are you sure i think there is an alien base inside the moon oh (laughs) you're like not sure about that i'll get on you i'll get on you with that if it's the clangers (laughs) (laughs) the clangers are in the moon this is the only thing that's happening right now (laughs) i used to love the clangers they actually live in the moon I know that, like, I saw it. I just don't remember it at all. It's so it's so old, like, eighties, sixties, seventies, eighties kind of TV show. The Clangers. They're yeah. like little people. They look like mice with like long noses. You know, it was definitely on RT. Angle changed. Everything's changed because my phone died. Yes, everything has changed. I'm everything is now fifty years old. <laughs> You're I am now moon base. I am now a alien. <laughs> yes, love that. Well, apparently I already am, so it's all good. Now you're on my level. <laughs> Yay, alien. Yes, I love. I don't remember what you were saying. Something about the moon and then the clangers, and then I don't know where we went from there. Yeah, no, I don't either. <laughs> I was just like panicked because my phone died. <laughs> like <Okay>. mid train of thought. <laughs> yeah, no, I just heard you go, <gasps> and then you were just gone. <laughs> It literally just went completely black, and then I was like, no! <laughs> oh, dear. That's fine. I think my phone will probably die at some point anyway, but I'm on Zoom on the laptop, so it's all good. It's all good. I've just got to think of, I was just thinking, do I have any other, like, final expose questions for you? <laughs> do you? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, real opinions on the DID tubers. There you go. Oh, God, do you actually want me to answer that? That would be exposed. Oh, dear. Okay. There can be one word or, like, a couple words. On Wait, on all of the DID YouTubers? Like, as many one? as you can remember. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, user lovely. There's that. Yay! Do I include entropy since they're not really doing YouTube? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> True. Um, fragmented psyche, dicks. Hate them. Um, the worst, like least favorite people in the world. Um, although I should clarify for the people that think that we actually hate each other, we don't actually hate each other. It's fine. It's sarcasm. It's humor. Um, team Pinata. I've already given my opinions. Um, dissociated. <laughs> Just cancel me now, dear Lord. Um, (laughs) I will remind you, you asked for this. Yeah. What is a one word for for that? I'm trying to think of like just one word to not get myself in too much trouble. Just be a bit more open. That's my advice to them. (laughs) I love how you can hear like the strain, like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes i can hear the death threats rolling in already i'm like oh, bring it go on there's nothing you can say that i have not already said to myself to kind of semi quote what's that band called mindless self-indulgence mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah yes so um I, I do, my brain is on blank on youtubers now i'm like who what um access lovely <laughs> all of us lovely except for those two <laughs> well I'm sure they have redeeming qualities I've never spoken to or met them like personally so there is a bit of a difference because I've spoken to you guys who have not mm-hmm. spoken to them so I just know I love how like political I'm being about this because <laughs> you know that you can't cut it out <laughs> yeah I'm like oh dear <laughs> oh dear <laughs> That's that's fine. Um, my word for the entire DID community is lovely. Yay! Yeah, genuinely lovely. though, some of the nicest people I've met. I keep saying this to people all the time. Some of the nicest people I've met, and that's like a lot of people as well. So. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I agree though. Literally, some of the nicest people I've ever met. Like some of my bestest friends ever. They're so nice. Like like the because we all have like a little group chat where we all just like ch- check in on each other and stuff and see what's going on. Most of the time it is just messages between us all like, we love you, we love you guys. <laughs> we hope you're okay. We love you guys. That's so sweet. Just day. That's really cute though. Final question. Uh What's a secret that you have never told anyone? Never told anyone? Oh, that you're willing to share on my channel, I guess. <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. There might have to be a cut here where I have a long pause, unless you want to do a little dance while I think about it. A secret that I've never shared. Um, I see, I don't know what I've shared. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Um, Help. What what constitutes a secret? Uh, 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 uh I don't know. Um, <laughs> something that you something you did that nobody knows about. <laughs> I'm not trying to really cancel myself here, dear lord. <laughs> um, like because my brain immediately goes to like, oh, I went for a walk at two in the morning and found some I found a cat and sat with this cat for two years or something you know like that's not where my brain went at all no, but like something <laughs> really not <laughs> uh, I have a phobia of butterflies mm. I hate them hate them disgusting and people always share pictures of them I've got one there and one there <laughs> See, I'm fine mean, with drawings fun. drawings are fine it's like the Why actual butterflies ones. they're unpredictable the way that they move is like freaky because you don't know where they're going to go. They don't have a clear I kind of get that with moths. I, I'm quite freaked out by moths, but not so much butterflies. Butterflies are just glorified moths. That's yeah, I get that. But like, to me, it's like moths are really like scatty. They always are like, <laughs> you know, whereas butterflies kind of go That's a bit more slow. I, anytime anyone brings them up, my immediate reaction is fluttery bastards hate them no i don't like them it's like hmm? oh i was gonna say it's like um people always say like are you scared of spiders and stuff and like, i'm not scared of spiders at all but ants Mm-mm. ants yeah i really don't like ants because is it because they're just like they're so small you don't see where they're, they're so small and there's so many of them and like they could climb up your trousers they could get all in your clothes and you wouldn't know you know like Whereas spiders, especially if they're big spiders, you know, like people see pictures of spiders that are like this big and they're like, I'm like, wow, <laughs> want to touch it. I don't want to be afraid of spiders, but I am because I know they're sweetie pies, but it just, mm-hmm. it's in my brain. Oh, speaking of, do you know about my hallucination of a spider? <gasps> oh, uh, yeah. no, this was, um, this was in July, I think even. And I had live streams and I was like, I went to go get stuff in the bedroom, but I can't go in because there's this giant spider, like biggest spider I'd ever seen, like right there. You can see it. Um, Biggest spider I'd ever seen with this like wet web coming out of it. And it was like huge. So I didn't go in the bedroom for days. And the person that I live with came home and they were like, there's no spider. I've checked everywhere. There's no spider. And I still wouldn't go in for days, but there was no web. There was no evidence of spider. And I was also extremely sleep deprived. So eventually I had to accept, okay, there was no spider. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. considering the size that I saw it, we don't have spiders that big. <laughs> yeah, like, it, ooh, ooh. You know what, I'll tell you what, I'll share actual secrets with you off camera. Okay, amazing. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> okay, so shall we, shall we wrap this up? We can wrap it up. This is your channel, so you can say the byes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Evangelina, for coming on my channel. Uh, and yeah, bye bye bye. I don't really know how to address. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.